Hey there, this is Dolphin. Um, explaining to you why I won't be playing World of Warcraft anymore. I am quitting again. <laughs> Last time was uh, mid mists of Pandaria, so a long time ago. Back then, uh, it was customer service that was pissing me off. Um, my experiences lately have been much better. So I had some reasonable concerns and uh, had to go to the second level, so to speak, but their service was okay. Um, but this time it was something else that pissed me off very much and um, spoiled the mood. Um, yeah, so I might be uploading some World of Warcraft videos uh, after this. Um, got some old recorded stuff and some ideas, but uh, not gonna play again and I will uh, let my subscription expire. And World of Warcraft is currently, as I see it, celebrating its 12th birthday. So 12 years after launch, the game still, or well, hasn't been in the beginning, but uh, hasn't evolved that much. The game punishes victims of harassment through abuse of the system. So what happened was that uh, time walking was up and I wanted to get uh, one quest item, you know, 500 time walking currency on all my characters that qualified that was a high level, you know, so I could buy upgrades for my heirlooms. So, you know, I was trying just one, one, one run with every character. If you have a damage dealer, the queue wait can be quite long. So. Um, I did it with my with tanks first and then the damage dealer and um, waited patiently and was happy that the queue popped quite quickly and group formed and I wasn't porting in and I tried manually and the boss fight was in process and uh, I asked and they said it's the end boss fight you know you might just the spell leave and one guy was joking like we were gonna kick you anyway blah 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 and then, then said that's just a prank so the group I was assuming they're just joking because there's no point in it anyway um, but you know I said just in case you wipe on the boss you know I'll wait patiently and then I get a chance maybe at the boss kill and get a quest item one quick one always welcome and in retrospect, I'm wondering why their spot was free anyway at that point. Come to that later. Um, they did wipe on the end boss fight. So apparently they could use some help. Four players was probably not ideal for that fight. And I was happily porting in and in good mood and, you know, ready to support them and make sure it works this time. And that asshole... Um, I'm pretty uh, um, know who it was. Um, I will write his name in the description. <laughs> um, actually kicked me. I was like 10 seconds in the dungeon and he kicked me for what, whatever reason. I mean, maybe what he said, it was a prank. Maybe he was referring to kicking the previous guy too, just before the end boss. Maybe it was a pre-made group or something like that. But total asshole, you know, exploiting the system, just kicking just uh, for fun, apparently. And I had gotten a, this is the main point, I had gotten a 30 minute deserter debuff. The game was calling me a deserter, group de deserting the group for being kicked. I wasn't e able to do anything and I was being kicked for no reason. And the game punished me by not allowing me to requeue after I had patiently, with dedication, waited until I could join the group. Punished me. You cannot requeue for Dungeon Finder for 30 minutes. I was so pissed, you know. And and then I remind, I remember. I wouldn't have expected. That I remember from long time ago, maybe even several years, this problem that occasionally someone reported that this outrageous thing that the game gives you a double middle finger basically and this is absolutely not necessary this is such a trivial thing it should never exist and would be so easy to fix and makes absolutely no sense 
and it's easy for the game to distinguish. You should get a deserter debuff when you actually desert the group. You are just, you know, le uh, abandoning them. Maybe when they need you, uh, you know, happens all the time. Tank joins an instance, oh, this is not the one I want and just leaves. And for them, they should get the punishment and apparently sometimes it's not harsh enough. And I vented my anger on the forums about that, gave feedback, said Blizzard should finally get this anti-social crap in order because they are, they are encouraging those assholes to exploit the system by giving them an added bonus for their mischief. And every single response I got was either totally uh, um, uh, vo void of any statement, uh, bullshit, uh, statement or uh, evading the point just deliberately not understanding and uh, distracting from the point and projecting and emoing crap so basically um, addicts who are trying to uh, justify who, who couldn't handle any critique for their game so that helped further to realize again how unhealthy this game is what an unhealthy uh, attitude it encourages and attracts these situations like that remind me of the street scene from matrix where morpheus said some of them are so inert so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it and that's what they were doing they were protecting this there is an obvious problem a huge insult for, uh, that the game is throwing at you that is you know it's already annoying when someone just haha i kick you haha funny it's already annoying, enough. but when the game punishes you and calls you a deserter, and that would be so easy to fix, and it makes no sense, you know, being kicked. And oh, I went in my anger, I said, I don't care whether I'm banned from the forum, which of course I eventually got banned from the forum for violating the rules, name calling and all that. But I so didn't give a shit at that point because I lost all respect and, you know, it is after 12 years the game is in some aspects still total shit and you i'm wondering what kind of uh, morons are sitting there i mean i don't want to be blanket unfair um, often when these things happen it is a total resource mis mismanagement you know often when crap happens and you think it would be so easy to fix i know it from my from some of my jobs um, it is just that the management won't allocate resources where they are needed and the people that, who are developing the game would love to make a better job if they were given the time, you know, and small stuff is being pushed back, you know, like the new expansion must come out that is business, that is profit. Um, that is what we need to focus on and oh there is someone with five minutes of free time this is unacceptable you know fire or run and let them work 110 percent whatever but still you know uh, wrong priorities mismanagement so the game is was really uh, giving you here and showing how why they're still anti-social scum in the game and why they're having such a good time and i mean there are flaws that are related to this if you're being kicked several times in a row, it becomes extremely unlikely that you just have bad luck and one asshole after another. It can happen in rare cases maybe, but you know, uh, that would give a signal that something's wrong with you, that you are done, uh, uh, doing something wrong. For example, you are joining as a tank and you refuse to go on tank spec. So the aggro is all over the place. Everything cares, nothing is in order. The healer is freaking out. It is totally not enjoyable. And the tank just refuses to go into tank spec. And the game allows him to do that, to queue and enter the group saying, I will be the tank here and not be in tank spec. And then the group says, okay, this is intolerable. We are gonna kick the guy. And then the game tells you, no, sorry. This person cannot be kicked for the next so and so minutes. Why? Yeah, because he has already been kicked in previous runs, very likely for the same crap. And the, oh, we cannot imagine if that person is not allowed to do any dungeon finder. He would be excluded from that feature just because he's incompetent and doesn't fulfill the minimum that can be expected from him uh, for playing in a team with other people, you know? In a social environment we cannot have that 
So we force them into it, even if they are doing nothing, you know, or a healer. S several times where I uh, had experienced that, that the healer, the group was wiping on trash and while the healer had full mana. And then we tried to kick and always the same. No, not always, but most of the times. No, cannot be kicked. So there are all those mechanisms, you know, because they are so afraid that they might lose money from some asshole. You think we want everybody we want the money from you and you and that total asshole and that psychopath. And of course that attracts it. And then they are lumping people of all color together, you know, reasonable people who just want to have fun and have a sense, sense for social interaction and very disturbed people. And yeah, the design of the system attracts uh, alike. And uh, that reflects, so the mindset of the people making the decision reflects on the product and attracts more of the same. Yeah, so long story short, yeah, I got spent there and uh, from the forums. And yeah, that feedback that I got that confirmed it, that made it even uh, easier for me, the decision to let my subscription expire. So such little things, as I talked about in my previous video um, where I uh, talked about uh, privacy, data privacy violations, always the same, you know, it would have been so easy. It is like a sign. It is the easiest, simplest things to fix. And no, they don't doing it. Common decency, just showing, you know, we are not doing this. No. And uh, yeah, I'm just not in the mood. It's, uh, um, yeah, this was extremely off-putting. So that is why I won't uh, be playing World of Warcraft anymore. In half a month or so, my subscription will expire. It is um, sad in, in one point, of course, because, you know, I invested time and it didn't build something up and still had plans. But I am not a slave to that an addiction. I don't have the emo unhealthy emotional connection. Um, when the game is sending that kind of message to me, then I will res respond accordingly, not be a mind slave. And yeah, there will, it has good uh, upsides too, you know, I got time to do other stuff because I was so busy in the game that I did barely anything else. So um, we'll see what comes in the future, but uh, I will follow my feelings and my convictions there. And I just wanted to convey that to you that as you see I was so pissed that actually I, I knew I would get a forum ban there but I didn't care I had the thought you know you will find a concentration of morons anywhere you are not allowed to call them out and that is why internet forums are such a nice pampering zone for such morons that responded to uh, my complaint there because you are not allowed to call them out <laughs> typical forum rules no, do not provoke someone. Don't do, well, like I say, do not try to get a rise out of other people. But being a total fucking moron, being in, an insulting asshole, you know, that is something you are allowed to do. That is being protected. That is okay. Pissing someone off by not, n not acknowledging their point, just arguing around, twisting their words and being a arrogant fuck. That is okay, you know. And that is the problem. That's also why I'm uh, happy that uh, Trump became US president because he's a good bullshit breaker. And uh, that is really needed. <sighs> yeah, and that's an example like that. All this crap, you know, that needs to be broken through. So it's an it interesting. <laughs> and yeah, and I spent some time following the US presidency and what's going on there lately. And what's that? Yeah, just, you know, to convey to you things that are not all right. Needed to rant about that. And as I said, uh, videos of all kind will be coming. I'll still publish some World of Warcraft videos. But, you know, it is nicer to have fun when, when you uh, have spoken your mind and when you can also talk about uh, the unpleasant things, the things that are not all right because otherwise you are on the run, you are 
practicing escapism, you are intolerant for anything inconvenient and that's when, when you shut out any critique of the game because you are desperately trying to preserve your little bubble of artificial happiness. And uh, I am I can be very cheerful and I am very happy sometimes and I enjoy those moments so much more because I am not on the run from unpleasantness because I can handle that and be consequential about that. And there are other games out there. So um, as I said, uh, quitting World of Warcraft again, part of it is sad, part of it is also a relief. So I will focus on the positive side there. <laughs> And this was like, when I started um, playing World of Warcraft again recently, you know, new expansion, interesting, I was curious about it. And I said, I'm going, this is an experiment, personal experiment, I'm going to do something I would normally not do. And I recognized some different things that worked different because I had a slightly different attitude. Um, but yeah, it basically it ended the same way it always ends. I knew that certain things hadn't improved. And so I could have predicted it. It was still worth going through that. But um, yeah, I was still aware. World of Warcraft is still run by Activision Blizzard. And so, you know, <laughs> it's just some simple facts and you can predict the outcome. And uh, yeah, so uh, I can also be somewhat lighthearted about it. As I said, no huge drama. This was kind of expected. It was only a matter of time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then yeah, as you see, um, you don't have to be scared of unpleasantness and uh, um, it only spoils the fake fun, you know, but you can develop a deeper relationship with the real joy comes from the heart <laughs> okay then have a great time with any game you enjoy even if it's world of warcraft if you're not personally affected it might be a blessing too you know people have different experiences but you should know that um, there are serious flaws to such games okay then see you next time thank you for listening give this an upvote if you liked it and see you